Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotruck and we are playing Crusader Kings 2 in the YouTuber Succession game. It's currently my turn as Emperor of the Imperium Romanorum, oh, Romanum, and uh, I've been pushing pretty hard to change all the um, um, kings in our realm into um, vice royalties. Um, one of the last ones to actually change, might actually be the last one, no, Elenia is also, um, but yeah, one of the last ones is the Kingdom of Sicily and... Um, I've been wanting to do that ever since I actually took over, so I'm going to revoke the Kingdom of Sicily title. He's a traitor. And I'm also going to revoke the Duchy of the Aegean Islands. Because um, that's kind of annoying as well. He has Naxos and Lesbos. So let's do that. Um, Naxos and Lesbos. I think I'm going to revoke both of those. Um, let's just have a look. De Jure Duchy, so he has the Aegean Islands over here. So that one, that one, that one. I would actually like to pull those away from him. Oh no, Naxos and... What? Rhodos? No, that is Siberiot. Oh, over here, Lesbos, right. And then we have Chios. That belongs to Samos, though. So I guess that's fine. Um, yeah. Would actually be kind of nice to get the other guy out of this whole thing. So... I think I'm actually going to revoke... Um, Naxos. Oh, must have a special revoke reason if we have a truce. Alright then. I mean, I could have just banished him. I could have just banished him. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. I mean, if I just banish him, um, I, he belongs to my he belongs to my house though. So maybe it's not right to do that. Um, it's also tyrannical. I can't revoke anything else. Right. That's fine then. That's fine then. I think we can live with this. Um, He's not going to gain, regain the kingdom, um, actually. Is there anyone that could take over? I think these guys over here in Croton could. Um, he's the Duke of Croton. Um, he also likes me, kind of. Um, too many held duchies. Yeah, I gotta got to deal with that in a little bit. Let's grant you the vice royalty of the Kingdom of Sicily. Oh, we still have that. Methane. Methane. No, I don't want that. I want this. Right. Because um, this doesn't belong to you. We're going to pull that away from you. Um, retract the vassalage. Um, no, wait. How does that. Oh, right. <clears throat> because Methane has that one. And they have also Luca and Region. That's the problem. Yeah, okay. I can't do anything about that then. Um, here. You're going to have the Vice Royalty of Sicily. Do with it what you will. Do something, do something proper with it. Okay. Have that. Um, the thing is, this guy is now free. Um, he's just a Count of Gabes. Um He belongs to Tunis. I think I'm just going to give him to this guy. So transfer the Vassalage. Um, yep, have him. So he's out of my hair. Now we're at 48 or 43. I still have more people to rein in though. Because um, we actually have the person of Adrianopolis. Over here, holding the county of Atalea, which I don't like. So, I'm going to take um, the county of Atalea away from you. Um, so that I can create a proper Duke of Siberiot. He's already holding a bunch of titles. I think I'm going to give that to someone from my court. So I have a bunch of courtiers. Maybe I'm going to give that to Harath Tutubus. 
I think that could be fun. So grant the landed title. You're gonna gain Atalea. And then you're also going to gain the vice royalty of the Duchy of Siberia to end with the lower titles. So the county of Lycia will go with the grant. Have fun. This also belongs to it then. Uh, yeah, he's kind of, he's imprisoned. Mm. Actually, I should have taken land from him. I should have taken land from him. I could still banish him. To claim poetry. As you are such an accomplished poet and Count Anselmo is your prisoner, you may punish him by declaiming terrible poems to him. <laughs> I did not know that that was a thing. But I'm really happy that that is in there. We're gonna do that. He is released from prison. He's not gonna like me. Read me bad poetry. <laughs> that is such an hilarious option that I just have to do it. So... Yeah. <laughs> Count Anselmo is forced to spend a full hour listening to one of your guards, recruiting, reciting your most atrocious poetry. Not only is the brute butchering the rhythm of it, but you made certain this particular poem contains the most contrived metaphors. His ears will ring with contemptible cadence for weeks. He has a 5% chance of gaining the trade lunatic. <laughs> well, he escaped very narrowly, but um, he did escape. Okay, so that's the thing. We still have too many vassals. Um, I have a dangerous faction. 80% strength. Um, right. I mean, that's fine. Did I want to change anything over here? You are imprisoned as well. I know. Samos. Duchess of Samos, Duchess of Karzianon. Where's Karzianon? Smyrna. Kazian on. Oh, right. I don't like that. Duchy of Kazian on. Yeah. You're somehow in Anatolia as well. Ephesus, you have two baronies. County of Smyrna and the County of Ephesus. Yeah, I'm gonna take away Kazian on. Right. So she has to live with that. Um, who has... Where's Kazian on? Um, over here. Um, Duchess of Kilikia. Count of Tiana. Countess of Caesarea. I think we're going to give that to her. Not land a title. Kazian on. Let's include the lower titles. Giving that to her. Duchess of Kozianon, but she still has him as her liege. So that's kind of fine, I think. Right, that solves this. I think I'm just gonna free you then. Um, ransom, yes, I'm gonna take that money. Um, you, I think we're done. So I think we can ransom you. Nothing, nothing else to do with her, really. So, ransom you. Anything else that annoys me? No, this looks fine now. These look okay. This still belongs to Sicily, which is an eyesore. But what can I do? This is Axacate of Anatolia, which is odd. Duchy of Paphlagonia. All right. Even though this belongs to Crete originally. Duchy of Crete, Kingdom of Greece. And Dukes of Jerusalem. Yeah, that's not too much to do. Um, who else do I have as a prisoner? I have the Exarch of Aragon. He's gonna spend his life in prison. I'm sorry. And we have the Dukes of Lombardy. Um, yeah, you, my friend, you're gonna lose your title. You're no longer the Dukes of Lombardy. You're a traitor. Um, oh, he's also imprisoned by me. No, it's the same dude. Okay. Um, Lombardy is over here. Can't leave you of Lombardy. That is 
Ivrea. You are going to gain. Because I think you want control of Piemont. Yeah, you're going to gain Piemont. Out of that, so he's gone now. Um, and Lombardy, I'm going to give to someone else. Maybe you. You're Italian, though. Italian. Italian. Why is there no one who's Greek? Who likes me in here? You have the county of Pavia and the barony of Voghera. I mean, I might, I might as well. County of Lombardy, county of Passau. No, I don't want to create something like that again. Brescia. You only have Brescia. Yeah, okay. So you're going to gain the vice royalty of Lombardy. Yeah. Ah, actually... He could be pulled out of this if I give him that. I mean, he has the county of Passau, but that will pull him out of Bavaria, actually. Hmm. No, it's going to create another mess. Grant the vice royalty um, of Lombardy. Do that. Okay, that's that. I still have the, the ducal titles of the Aegean Islands. Well, that's fine. I guess I can hold on to that for a while because I know Duke of Cyprus and of the Aegean Islands, the other titles I destroyed. Which is fair, I guess. Um, who else do I have in my prison? I mean, the Axarch of Aragon, I can't help him. He shouldn't have revolted. Count of Piemont, I don't care. Samos, I don't care. I still have him, but he didn't revolt. Dukes of Neapolis. Really? Yeah, right. Um, I'm just going to ransom him. Let him go. She can't be ransomed. He can't be ransomed. The Count of Piemont um, can ransom him. That's fine. Alexandria. Alexandra. We can actually ransom her as well. I don't really need to keep her anymore. Um, then we have Ninoslav, the Duke of Russia. Um, I'm going to ransom him. Because he's no longer important. And we have Philippa, the Duchess of Adrianopolis. I could also declaim poetry to her. Does she have the does she have the money? No, she doesn't. Okay. You're gonna hear my terrible poetry. <laughs> She's forced to spend a full hour listening to a child reciting some of your most repellent poetry. Not only is the young imbe imbecile void of rhetoric skills, but you made certain this poem is particularly trite. 5% chance to become a lunatic. Is she one? No, she isn't. But she's not my fan. She's married to Prince Karl the Fat, Dukes of Cherson, Crimea, Elenia, Moldau, and all that other kind of stuff. Right. I think that did it. I refuse to pay your extortionate ransom demand for Duchess Philippa. Okay, then. Maybe you'll just want to spend some time in the dungeon. Okay, he accepted the ransom. Yeah, more ransom. More ransom. More ransom. I take the money. Why not? I have a dangerous faction. So I will definitely have to fight um, to keep the council power that low. What do we have? Constance of Trebizond, really? You disloyal piece of garbage. Timotheus of Africa. Who would have thought it? And this guy is the leader. 85% of my troops. That's going to be one nasty battle. One nasty battle, I can tell you. Mihailov Krivicic. Where's that guy? And where's your thing? Over here. That belongs to Croatia, though. He's, um, he has great pox. I guess I might as well pull his title as well. I mean, he's the Duke of Pisa. I really don't want Pisa to be integrated into um, into Croatia. I think he's the last king that still has uh, still doesn't have a vice royalty. Maybe it would be a good idea. No, Alania is is there as well. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll wait until 58 until that kind of stuff wears off though. Hmm. I can imprison her. But would that help me? I mean, I could pull that duchy away. Then give it back as a vice royalty again. People are kind of pissed now about all the vice royalties. So I have to roll all of them into vice royalties, I guess. Um... Using this option is tyrannical. Oh yeah, she doesn't have a plot anymore. Okay then. He might still be convinced. Dukes Anthemus the Noble has usurped the title Duchy of Ivrea from her. Okay, that was that was quick. So he's now uh, Dukes again. My vassal, and he absolutely hates me. That was not well done. So he has inherited Duchy of Aragon and other titles from Dux and Athersios of Aragon. Yeah. I really don't want that though. Duchy of Aragon. He has a lot of counties and a lot of stuff. Okay, we're gonna revoke your title. Other vassals uh, get reduced opinion by 15. Come on. Okay, he accepted it, uh, which means that I can dole that out now. Um, he has a bunch of places. And I think one place over here also belongs to Aragon, weirdly enough. Yeah, that one. I wonder why that is a thing. But I guess I can live with that. I guess I can live with that. Um, so... You are going to gain the Vice Royalty. You gain the Duchy of Aragon. And the County of Saragossa. So let's do that. <clears throat> and that should assure that this person is rather loyal to me. I mean, could be better. Could be better. Revoked vassal titles. Crushed a major revolt. Granted a Vice Royal Duchy. He could be happier though. Another dangerous faction. Who's in there? Increased council power. Being led by Timotheus of Africa. Yeah, that dude is one pain in the butt. What's your problem? Revoke vassal titles, decrease council power. I mean, he wants a seat on the council. If I were to give him one. If I were to give him one. Just the, um, the advisor. Wait. Guess I gotta do it this way. Um... I'm gonna fire you from the advisor title and then we're gonna make the Exarch of Africa a thing. So now we should actually leave the faction. Yep, that faction is gone. And if it is going to return... Hmm, and one of our dynasty has been elected to the new Doge, which is nice. I like that. Yeah, that faction is, is gone. We still have the increased council power, but a lot weaker. Young Theodora has finished her uh, education stewardship. It seems she's learned all the basic skills required. Great. <laughs> Theodora of Rome. Right. I still cannot um, revoke her title. Is not in a non-aggression pact. You do know that I actually um, revoked that, um, that betrothal, right? You do know that game. Your vassal is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. I can't give out land to anyone who asks. I'm sorry. That's just not a thing. I still have too many vassals. I still have too many vassals. Guess I gotta get rid of some of them. Count of Limassol. Where's that? Yeah. Cyprus. I mean, I could just roll that into one. Who's the nicer dude? Yeah, okay. You're gonna be it. Grant the vice royalty of Cyprus. Do it. Okay, that get got rid of one. Um, do you have anything else? 
that I can do. Um, Axarch. We've got a bunch of Duxes. Dukes of Epirus. I can't get rid of that one. Dukes of Demieta. Yeah. What is that kind of kingdom over here? What's that in terms of Dijua? Egypt. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to create that one yet. Yeah, 30%. We're not that far away, actually. We are not that far away. How far are we towards Jerusalem? 20%. Hmm. I wouldn't mind having an Exarch of Egypt. Apparently that's not going to happen, at least not right now. Um, Dukes of Abkhazia. Duchess of Angwa, Aragon, Friuli, Ancona. I mean, I think Ancona. Hmm. Yeah, this is slowly passing into Croatia, which is um, annoying me. These are all safely in Croatia, I guess. Bavaria is fine. Bohemia is fine. Do I control any one of these directly? No. No, that's all that's all right. I'm um, just gonna let the game run. Um, someone wants to marry. Propose that Axarch Timotheus of Africa and build the unchaste Mary. Okay, yeah, why not? <laughs> build the unchaste. Have some fun. We have two times Aragon over here. I wonder if I... Can I not um, give away Aragon? No. That doesn't work. But I should be able to give this guy away to his proper leader. Slavonia, it's him. Okay. I think I'm just going to give him to the Axarch over here. To the... Although that is part of Croatia, so I'm actually going to give him to the king of Croatia, I guess. Um, transfer vassalage. Have that guy. I think that makes sense. Can I imprison anyone? Interesting. No, I can't really. Okay. Right, I'm at 45 of 43 now. Duchess of Angua, Countess of Orvieto, Abydos, Izzy of Abydos. Oh, he's my, he's my vassal now. How many Aegean Island people do I have? This is part of Neapolis now, which is annoying. He's um, Aegean Islands as well. Tiberius of Oboya. Is he? Tiberius. My brother-in-law. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to grant you the Vice Royalty Duchy of the Aegean Lands, which is going to get rid of one more vassal. I think that's fine. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can find one to get rid of. News has reached the court that a claimant to my title is Branimir is hiring men for an attack against me. Oh dear, I hope he's not prone to accidents. <laughs> Not to kill. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> so let's let me have a look at my plots. Let's um, invite you. Let's invite you. Other people might be swayed with money um, in terms of plot power. This guy would be, I guess, pretty important. Send a gift. Just needs 15. And then he's going to join. He needs a gift. He needs 32. And then he will join and maybe her. Send her a gift. And then have her join. I think that's fine. <laughs> I can create Nicaea, Thrace, and Latium. Yeah, I wonder why we haven't gotten a claim on Orvieto yet. I really would like to get rid of this. Reduce the amount of direct vassals that I have. This is still the Ferraran Revolt.
demand that he make peace with Ferrara. This is going on forever. Fourth Ferrara and Warfare Gave a Kind. 90% in favor of the Dukes of Ferrara. Okay then. Guess that's fair. Adventurer threat. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna deal with them. Okay, people are backing my plot to kill that dude. Okay. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating in a faction. Guy from Abkhazia. Yeah, let's obligate the vassal. That's not a bad idea. The factions have died down again. I mean, increased council power. And we have a frottish Sally heresy in Farastin. Okay. Thank you for reminding me of my duties. <laughs> People are backing that plot. Very good. How old am I? 39 now. We've been playing for 12 years. Brianska has been converted. Our threat has died down quite a bit. Cataphract training ground has been built in Kazikos. Do we need anything else in here? Yeah, we still got a bunch of stuff that we could build on there. Dangerous faction. The late nights, the way my wife Sophia has stopped touching me or even looking at me. Now the whispers of her and that filthy scatterbrained Samuel Ruffel. Is that him again? Isn't that the guy who already um, shagged her in the past? I'm going to confront her now. If that is actually a thing, she's going to die. She tearfully admitted to the affair and is begging me for forgiveness on her bare knees. Nope, they're going to be both denounced. And my dear Empress, you're going to be imprisoned. And I think you're also going to die. Sorry. That's just how it goes. I gave her another chance. <laughs> I gave her another chance and she didn't do it. Um, oh, actually, she's kind of interesting. What would result in a non-aggression pack with Prince Ferrand of Frank here? Let's see, do we have any... Do we have any geniuses? Yeah, her. She's already 40. And those two, which are way too young. Uh, maybe someone who's strong. She's 10. She's 38. She's 16, actually. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think we could make interesting children. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Come on. Okay. Let's collect the money. Okay, we're at 9 and 9 again in terms of demand limit. Yeah. Oh, my wife was hanged. Well, she's known as the unfaithful. I mean, that's just how it goes. <laughs> she really should have thought twice. I was willing to forgive once after she spent a couple of years in the dungeon. And we have Croatian Civil War for Gable kind. Yarnus of Creation Revolt. That's interesting. This is definitely a problem, though. A dirty secret. Just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught, caught Count Theodorus of Constantine and my courtier in flagrante. Um, yeah, they must be exposed. Sorry, they must be exposed. <laughs> Designated Regent is gone. She's chased as well, which is definitely going to help us. And my wife is actually pregnant. I gained five prestige. Very nice. And we have a Sunni uprising. Really? Don Portugue. Okay, where's that? Where's the uprising? Where's the uprising? Over here. Great. Yeah, totally great. How many troops can you bring? Thousand. Why is my direct vassal limit dropping and dropping and dropping? Do I have reduced um, diplomacy bonus? I really don't get that. Uh, let's bring these guys. 
Let's have them move over here. Uh, let's bring these guys along. Move them over here. This belongs to Aragon, though. So, and this is Valakia. They're not going to give me any troops, apparently. These guys are giving me 2,000. Move them in here. And move over there. Gotta take care of those rebels. My co-conspirator has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush the claimant disguised as highwaymen. Let's see how it goes. And the dangerous faction has gone away again. 47.5%. We have slow fever in Venezia. <clears throat> Success! The mercenaries ambushed the carriage and made short work of him. They let the driver go and he's convinced the attack was carried out by highwaymen. Oh, those nasty bandits. Yeah, that does it. That's that. <laughs> I don't have any luck with this, though. Can I change the laws again? Um, council... 58. Two more years and I'll be able to push away the execution. Then it's just two more laws until complete domination. Unlimited power. I do need a designated regent, but I don't trust anyone. Trust no one. That's my motto. Cyrenaica. These armies. What are they doing? People are still joining the defensive pact against me. Yeah, which is their own fault. Oh well. And I have inherited Duchy of Achaia from Dukes Hippolytos the Unchaste. <laughs> okay, I gotta do something with this. Um, who do I like the most? 22, 33, 68. Yeah, I think we're gonna give that to him. So, you're gonna gain the vice royalty of this place. That's good. 44, 41. Um, maybe that's a new wife, actually. Maybe she's not as good in terms of... Um, in terms of diplomacy. I guess that must be it. As he's growing old, I can see that Mustino could use some guidance. He is just a courtier bastard, though. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna exert myself on his um, behest. Just... It's not worth it. Take these guys. Let's have them all disbanded. Come on, people. Chop, chop, chop. Join them all. And move in there. Croatia is fighting in amongst themselves. They're gonna laugh uh, once I actually use up the title and make it into a vice royalty. Young Massino is very easily satisfied and obviously lacking in ambition. He should be more charitable. Why not? Yeah, I'm 40 years old now. Man, we still have a long way ahead of us, I guess. Um, I have to find a way to actually get rid of a couple of those vassals, though. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, maybe I can do something over here. I have a new heir. Wait, how did that happen? Did my son die? He's born in the purple. Ooh, nice. He's strong and a genius. <laughs> okay, then. A son was born in the purple to the Emperor um, Protobro the Holy and Empress Agatha. He's strong and a genius. I mean, how good can he get? Nice. <laughs> We're going to call him Morath. Because <laughs> why not? Um... Right, okay. I wonder why he's the why he's the heir though. I mean he's the prince, but he still exists. He still lives. He's all he also has a really nice beard. We want that. Um and he wants a county. That's not something that's gonna happen. Right. Um I can't remove these guys again. I like that I have a new heir now. And he's born in the purple as well. I wonder why he wasn't born in the purple. Even though he is a genius. Odd. Odd. And why he isn't one either. Well, I guess I'm going to make him an Exarch then somewhere somewhere else. 
I wonder why he hasn't married his betrothed either. Like, I mean, come on, people. Can that happen? Um, arrange marriage. Give spiritual guidance. I mean, I already did that. I guess he can't really marry. No. I wonder what I have to do to actually make that happen. We're going to lose titles. Kingdom of Italy is going to go to Prince Chief of the Imperium Romanum and Kingdom of Greece as well. What? Primogenitor. What is our succession rule? Magnetic, cognatic, primogenitor. I don't get that. I don't get that. I mean, I can destroy those titles if push comes to shove, but it's kind of weird, to be quite honest. But yeah, I'm going to try to puzzle that out um, in between episodes behind the scenes. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do hope that you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.